Yes, please, Mr. Sir. Assalamu alaikum and hello to our viewers. I am Saad Are from HR Consultants. As you all know that HR conducting live FB sessions to provide you all information regarding admissions, scholarship, and keep you updated with international universities future plans. Uh, HR is the top and number one recruiter of world high, highly reputed institutions. And today we are going to discuss about M College Canada. Uh, I will just like to give you some info uh, about M College. The college is located in uh, La Salle uh, on the island of Montreal. La Salle is adjacent to the downtown core of the city and connected to its comprehensive public trans uh, transit system. A student will study uh, in a vibrant and exciting campus uh, in a multicultural area of the city. I would like to introduce uh, Mr. Usman Tahir, Relationship Manager, Middle East and Pakistan, Ms. Abiruchi, Recruitment Manager, uh, Middle East and Pakistan, M College Canada. Thank you, Usman and Abiruchi, for taking time, uh, time for us and kindly gave us uh, some brief info about Montreal College. Over to you, Usman, sir. Thank you, Saad, for inviting us to this session. Uh, we are very happy to join uh, uh, HR consultant as one of the leading institution uh, recruitment is a company from Pakistan. M College is basically located uh, in La Salle, that is around about to be 20 minutes drive from downtown uh, Montreal. And the uh, location is very beautiful, locality is very nice. M College is located in such a place where a student can find every kind of utility, their entertainment facility, or anything they want uh, very nearby. Even the stores. Uh, your grocery stores or daily routine stuff can be found within just five minutes to uh, walk, not at even transport. So this is a big thing which a student can have. Uh, the, the campus we have is right now our own campus. We are not uh, having any campus or uh, have a campus that is uh, taken in a building we own rent. So that is also a big plus for uh, our campus. Also the facilities which we are providing right now uh, top of the niche. Uh, we are providing the best and superior class, uh, class facilities. The systems are uh, Apple systems we are providing to our students. The uh, free airport pickup uh, is provided to our student uh, so that the student will not feel any kind of uh, you know, issue when they arrive at uh, in Montreal International Airport. We are also helping our student to guide about uh, providing free accommodation that is totally free of cost. They'll not be charging, uh, they'll not be paying any kind of uh, uh, amount for the rent, electricity, or any kind of utility except internet. Uh, that is for the quarantine period plus two months. And uh, other than that, we are providing free gym membership, free insurance, which student must have, international student must have to take in order to go abroad for further education. So all of these things are provided totally free of cost, which M College is right now providing. Internships are basically providing uh, by the M College. So M College is overall uh, providing very good facilities to its international students. Um, I would like to tell our viewers in Urdu and what Asman Saab said about it. Rasal ke andar ye situated hai, M College aur iske paas achhi khasi facilities available hai, downtown se bahut karib tar hai. Take a Jahan Takre accommodation related or health insurance related to the Tizi Hai, Usman Savako, Batatejare, or Sasatamapo, Urdu, maybe she's explained Kazay and Satme. Thank you, Miss Abiruti, for taking time of time out for us. Hamikuch Bada, thank you, Skibari, and T requirements Skibari. Thank you so much uh, for having us today. It's my pleasure to be connected with HR consultants. Um, NT requirements, uh, say pehle, I would want to say that there are like uh, we provide programs which is both at uh, post secondary as well as post graduate levels. The programs are uh, in different uh, genres. So we are taking care of health, we have uh, business as well as technology as part of our programs. We offer uh, business management, project management, multimedia integration as well as uh, project management and early childhood education um, as part of our programs. Um, having said that, uh, you know, we do have uh, the entry requirements are based on the relevancy of the student in his previous education, 
in the similar um, similar area, uh, which should be minimum of 55%. Additionally, he or she should have had scored a minimum of uh, um, you know the IELTS requirement, which is required. If he has work experience, that would be a plus point again. Having said that, the business management program and early childhood education programs are the only programs which are offered after the post-secondary, which is after grade 12, as well as they're offered after bachelor's degree. So after grade 12, it is a two-year program, and after bachelor's degree, it is a one-year program. Project management and multimedia integration programs, they are offered at uh, postgraduate levels only. So the students should have had completed their minimum of uh, a bachelor's degree with, again, a 55%, which is required. Uh, Ms. Abhiruchi, so these programs are co-op with the uh, placements or, uh, or yes. uh, yeah, we so, do have, uh, and uh, what we, is the duration? We do have internships. Uh, it's not co-ops like, uh, you know, Quebec works a mm. little differently from how the other provinces work. Uh, we have internships which are embedded within the program uh, around like 72 hours of internship, which is offered to the student. Uh, this can be paid, this cannot be paid, depending upon how student tracks it and how he eventually gets into it. Okay. And uh, uh, Osman, sir, can, uh, can you tell us about uh, the IELTS requirement uh, of these programs? The English language requirement for these programs is, uh, since Pakistan is right now in the uh, STS stream, so that is a big opportunity, especially for Pakistani students uh, to apply for uh, M College and for Canada. So after coming to Pakistan into a, a STS stream, we are taking right now IELTS score of overall six with no band less than six. Other than that, uh, in current scenario, we are also accepting Duolingo at both undergrad and postgrad level with score of 95 to 100 for uh, undergraduate and 105 to 110 for postgrad uh, PT or internet based uh, TOEFL. We are accepting these uh, other two module of English language as two. Oh, and uh, what about the uh, minimum entry requirements for the HSC student percentage requirement? Uh, mm -hmm. How much uh, it, it, it will be acceptable to apply in uh, M college for the diploma program? For uh, any student who have uh, who has done uh, HSC from Pakistan must have at least 50%, overall 50% marks in their pre uh, second year or in their intermediate. Uh, with 43% marks in their core subjects, like if they want to go for business management, they must have studied, you know, uh, FSE pre-engineering or F F ICOM or these kind of subjects which are in which they have studied uh, math, physics, or business, these kind of subjects. While if they want to go for uh, early childhood education, they have studied their nursing diploma or uh, FSE pre-medical. So in those subjects, they must have come, uh, at least 50% marks with 43% marks in their core subjects. So this is just, uh, you know, easy requirements to get admission into our college. You don't have to get so much higher marks. These are just easy requirements. 50% uh, requirements overall uh, for the direct entry uh, into the diploma programs, undergraduate entry. Yes, indeed, these uh, are the requirements. I want to tell my viewers that if you want to apply M college, then the minimum entry requirements are 50% of the Usman, can you tell our viewers how much gap uh, you are accepting after HSC? Uh, after HSC, we are accepting a gap of up to five years uh, with proper document proof. Uh, like what have students done during that period of time, we will like to know that. By, uh, we, like students must provide us experience letter. Uh, to prove that he or she has done some kind of job during that period of time, also provide us some pay stabs to support the, their application so that we'll know that they have done some work uh, which was which is related to their uh, education or they want to study. So that would be a big ad ad advantage to them. I want to tell you that if you apply for M college, if you have a professional gap and after intermediate, if you have a job experience, then it is acceptable. 
और अपनी आप एप्लीकेशन प्लेस कर सकते हैं और मॉन्ट्रियल कॉलेज के अंदर अप्लाई कर सकते हैं और ये अब बहुत अच्छी बात है क्योंकि ज़्यादातर जो यूनिवर्सिटीज होती हैं या कॉलेज होते हैं वो बच्चों को इस बात पर रिजेक्ट कर देते हैं कि बच्चा अपनी या स्टूडेंट अपनी क्वालिफिकेशन लेफ्ट कर देता है और एक जॉब एक्सपीरियंस दो या तीन साल का हासिल करने के बाद उसको फिर थोड़ी सी मुश्किल आ रही होती हैं डायरेक्ट एंट्री के लिए तो ये बेस्ट है कि अगर आप अप्लाई करना चाह रहे हैं तो एम कॉलेज के अंदर अप्लाई कर सकते हैं सो मिस अभी रुचि दीज प्रोग्राम्स आर एक्रेडिट विद दी बॉडीज ऑफ दी कैनेडा Yes, we are very much accredited. Uh, the college is a private college, although it is uh, it is governed and accredited by the Ministry of Education in Quebec. Um, all colleges are uh, monitored, audited, and uh, you know they are they are witnessed by the the uh, ministry, uh, uh, which again gives it more clarity on the quality of education that is provided in the in the college, basically. Yes, and uh, uh, what will uh, what will be the uh, you can say that progression ratio uh, in terms of job placement after completion of the uh, program from Montreal College? Ah, uh, mostly students they get into work. Ah, uh, there are very handful of students who get into university after completing the college. Ah, uh, we haven't uh, yet seen many graduates. Ah, uh, we are a pretty new college, as you are aware. Ah, uh, we've just started in. January 2020 was our first intake, so we can give more information on like the progression of the students once we have somebody graduating from the college. But what we are experiencing right now um, is that most of the students are looking into getting into jobs um, than getting into universities. Thank you. Uh... अपने व्यूअर्स को बताना चाहूंगा कि अगर आप एम कॉलेज के अंदर अप्लाई करना चाह रहे हैं तो सारे प्रोग्राम्स जो हैं उनके आ, उनकी लोकल बॉडी से एक्रेडिट हैं जो आपको हेल्प आउट करते हैं बाद में प्लेसमेंट दिलवाने के लिए क्योंकि असल चीज अहम चीज ये होती है कि आप कॉलेज के अंदर तो ले लेते हैं लेकिन मोस्ट ऑफ द कॉलेज जो होते हैं या प्राइवेट कॉलेज जो होते हैं वो एक्रेडिट होते नहीं है आपके डिप्लोमा जो होता है उसके बाद आप या तो कोई अन प्रोफेशनल जॉब आप करते के लिए अप्लाई कर कर रहे होते हैं तो ये बहुत अच्छी बात है कि सारे प्रोग्राम जो हैं वो एक्रेडिट हैं गवर्नमेंट बॉडी से उससे ये आपको फायदा है कि आपको प्लेसमेंट के अंदर आपको हेल्प आउट हो जाती है चीजों को लेके उस्मान साहब काइंडली टेल अस अबाउट दी एंट्री रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर दी मास्टर्स एंड पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट डिप्लोमास फॉर द पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट प्रोग्राम्स अगेन द एंट्री रिक्वायरमेंट इज वेरी लीनियंट इट्स नॉट सो मच टफ एज कंपेयर टू अदर इंस्टीट्यूशन we are accepting those students who have done uh, uh, at least 16 years of education from pakistan and gain at least uh, 55% marks uh, in their bachelors so for business graduate programs we are taking students who have done the business uh, programs like bba mba or two years uh, bba plus two years of mba or two years of even bcom plus two years of mcom those programs uh, students or those students who have done those programs are acceptable to apply for project management in communication graphics and business management and for the it students we are offering multimedia integration so if a student who have done it programs like uh, master bachelor of computer sciences or uh, bachelor of computer uh, applications or these kind of programs or have some experience in it uh, we are accepting those students to apply for this program and similarly a student who have done our information or have studied education related pro, uh, like bachelor of education or master of education and completed 16 years of education from pakistan we are giving them an in entry into the early childhood education program so entry requirement for these programs all of them are at least 55% in their previous education and with uh, 16 years qualification or uh, 14 years qualification because you know that pakistan offers a two, a two year bachelor program as well uh, for admission into post graduate uh, we are taking right now 16 years of education as you know that is equivalent to canadian mb uh, canadian bachelor program uh, so that is why we are taking 16 years of education any student who have done two years of uh, bachelors from pakistan we are giving them admission into our uh, the other program that is business management regular stream ठीक है uh, जैसे भी और साहब जानते हैं अगर आपकी 14 इयर्स क्वालिफिकेशन या आपने बी कॉम किया हुआ है तो उसके लिए आपके पास अपॉर्चुनिटी के उसमें भी आप अप्लाई कर सकते हैं जो उस मास आपने प्रोग्राम्स बताए हैं और प्लस 16 इयर्स क्वालिफिकेशन वालों के लिए डायरेक्टली आप इनरोल कर सकते हैं अगर आपकी परसेंटेज इक्वलेंसी फिफ्टी है मिस अभी अभी काइंडली टेल और व्यूवर्स अबाउट दिस सिटी लास्ट साल 
what are the opportunities can a student avail from it uh, while studying and uh, what type of accommodations are available over there? Um, La Salle is a very beautiful part of Quebec uh, and Quebec as such is a land of opportunities. It has a lot of uh, things that are happening in the city and which gives international students an edge over other provinces here in Canada. Uh, starting right from the fact that Quebec is a bilingual uh, province, uh, which requires uh, students to have English as well as French as, uh, as a language that is there. However, uh, you know, the government is generous enough to let students learn a language, a French language, absolutely free of cost, and in fact, reward them with $800 each month for just learning French, uh, which is almost equivalent to, you know, what actually they would end up spending on, uh, on their basic requirements when they are here as international students, uh, which gives them an edge because only 8% of Canadians are bilinguals. And, uh, you know, the requirements which are for any kind of uh, government jobs or any kind of higher level jobs, they all require students to have um, a left, uh, bilingualism is like a top priority as well. If you talk about jobs, uh, Quebec is full of jobs uh, right from Bell, which is the telecom giant in Canada is, uh, they have their headquarters in uh, Montreal itself. If you talk about uh, BMO, which is the Bank of Montreal, is amongst the top five banks in Canada. If you talk about Bombardier, which is one of the largest uh, manufacturing uh, units for uh, public transports, for your buses, for airplanes, for, so, for your elevators and so on, they have their manufacturing uni units uh, in uh, Quebec uh, itself. So, all in all makes uh, Quebec a city, which is again, as I said, a land of opportunities for students, bringing plenty of jobs in every field that you can think of in the city itself. Uh, if you go, uh, this can be very much verified by the government website, which is jobbank.gc.ca. Uh, this, If you open this website and you see the number of jobs that are available in Quebec, um, you can you can literally click, you can literally see that you know the number of jobs in Ontario, add the number of jobs in uh, British Columbia, add the number of jobs in Quebec. So seventy percent, I would say roughly seventy percent of the jobs in Canada are in Quebec. Hence, uh, making it a uh, you know something a student that I would look for. Yeah, that's a great information for the international students. Uh, I would like to uh, tell our viewers in Urdu. Uh, Ms. Ushin, uh, Abhi Ushin has just told us that if we talk about La Salle City and uh, Montreal ki especially, and the Quebec region, ki, so the most 70% jobs that are available in this region, ke andar hai, Canada. And mainly, uh, ek student ki an international student is the most important thing that after studying, he can place his own place and what job ratio is there. So, this is the best region is the best region to apply for, to get uh, uh, placement over there and settle yourself over there after studying, or settle yourself over there after uh, good work experience. ठीक है और ये आप लोगों के बहुत perfect opportunity है अगर आप इसको avail करना चाहें और आपकी application अभी भी open है. Uh, uh, Usman, sir, kindly tell our viewers about the application deadlines of the M College. Right now we are accepting application for the sub, uh, January intake, January 2021, and yeah. uh, application there uh, you guys can send us application right now through HR uh, for the, all of our program, undergrad or postgrad. And even if you don't, uh, if you if you don't have any result right now, you can still apply, and we will be happy to issue you conditional pre-admission letter. Uh, right now, we are accepting those uh, those applications for admission, and uh, deadline for the application right now are in October. But right now, we are accepting these applications. So I'll definitely suggest to apply as early as possible so that you will complete your rest of the documents and you can go through with the whole uh, visa process too. And uh, Osman, sir, what is the processing time? Well, uh, I'm again, uh, I would definitely again say that M College is uh, very proud to have very fast processing time. Right now, we are pro our processing time is around about two to three working days 
for to issue pre admission uh, offer letter uh, you guys can say that or pre admission letter and 3 to 4 lo at that is letter of acceptance uh, so overall we are uh, taking around about to be a week uh, in the whole process from start to end to issue you complete letter व्यूवर्स आपको बताना चाह रहा हूँ जैसे उस्मान साहब ने बताया है कि एप्लीकेशन डेडलाइंस अभी ओपन हैं अक्टूबर तक अभी तक हैं और इवन अगर आपके पास आइल्स नहीं है तो अभी आप कंडीशन ऑफ रिलेटेड कर सकते हैं और लेटर ऑन अपना आइल्स बाद में सबमिट करवा सकते हैं ठीक है और ये बहुत अच्छी बात है कि प्रोसेसिंग टाइम आपका बहुत कम है यानी कि इवन विद इन अ वीक और फोर्टीन वर्किंग डेज के अंदर आपको रिस्पॉन्स बैक मिल जाएगा यूनिवर्सिटी से उस्मान साहब देर एनी एप्लीकेशन फी फॉर प्लेसिंग एप्लीकेशन Uh, no, for our uh, students who are applying from Pakistan, we are not charging anything from uh, them. We are totally giving them free of cost uh, these uh, uh, offer letters. We are not uh, charging anything for that. Thank you so much, uh, Ms. Abhijit. Uh, can you tell our viewers about the uh, accommodation charges in uh, uh, less side region? And uh, because normally student asking about uh, uh, what will be the living expenses over there while right. studying. Right. Um, so you know, starting from the fact that M College understands the the plea of the international students, uh, the moment you land in uh, in Montreal, M College has a booth on the Montreal airport, and we're the only college which has a booth on the airport. And students can conveniently come to the air, uh, to the booth, and we arrange for a free transfer to the hotel or to the accommodation for them. Uh, as mentioned earlier by Usman, uh, first four months of accommodation is being provided by us. So we take care of the accommodation for the students. Either they can choose doing fourteen days of self quarantine and two months of accommodation, or take four months of accommodation. We're also giving absolutely free of cost health insurance to the students, uh, which again, uh, you know, in the current situation, is something that you know all students will look at. uh we're also taking care of uh, the food and all during the quarantine students also get free gym membership for the full uh duration of their program and uh, we're also taking care of uh, their sin and sin numbers we help them and completely support them in getting all those information uh which is again very critical uh, when the student is coming on board and they are just starting their journey um in an on you know in a in a country which is so far away where they don't literally know anybody um uh, having said that if you talk about the affordability of the city it is very much affordable uh after the student has completed their three four months of accommodation they have an option to continue in the same apartment or uh moving to a, a an apartment which of their relevance or their uh, liking uh students can find an apartment easily in sharing for as low as $500 to as high as $800 for an individual apartment um the transportation cost is around $50 for a monthly public transport pass so all in all if you calculate all the expenses that the student will incur is not more than $1000 in a month um out of which as i said that 800 dollars are being provided for just learning french full time uh, moreover student gets 20 hours of part time work opportunities with them college so they can even utilize those to to earn those extra bucks that they require uh, that's really great uh, i would like to inform my viewers uh, m college ke andar shuru mein initially aapko 4 months ki jo accommodation hai wo m college aapko free of cost provide kar raha hai even ke aapki jo health इंश्योरेंस है वो भी वो आपको फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट प्रोवाइड कर रहे हैं और ये बहुत अच्छी अपॉर्चुनिटी क्योंकि स्टूडेंट जाते ही परेशान ये चीज हो रहे होते हैं कि वो शायद पार्ट टाइम जॉब या बा, बाकी चीजों से अपनी आ, जो लिविंग कॉस्ट बेयर कर सकें या फिर लिविंग कॉस्ट को लेकर थोड़ा सा जो टेंशन होती है कि वो वहाँ जाके कहाँ स्टे करेंगे क्या कॉस्ट बेयर करनी पड़ेगी क्या होगा और ये बहुत अच्छा स्टेप है एम कॉलेज की तरफ से कि स्टूडेंट्स के लिए कि स्टूडेंट्स पहले जाएं इनिशियली जाके अपने आप को एनवायरनमेंट में जाके अपनो अपने आप को इजीली एडजस्ट कर सकते हैं ड्यूरिंग दिस टाइम पीरियड और उनको पता चल सकता है कि आगे जाके अगर वो उसी अकोमोडेशन के अंदर अपने आप को कंटिन्यू करना चाह रहे हैं तो वो एम कॉलेज के अंदर कंटिन्यू कर सकते हैं अदरवाइज वो अपने आप को कहीं और भी लिविंग अपनी इख्तियार कर सकते हैं आपका बहुत अच्छा एक तरह से कह लें एक तरह से ऑफर है स्टूडेंट्स के लिए जो मैं खुद रेकमेंड करूंगा कि स्टूडेंट्स को अवेल करें 
kindly uh, uh, usman sir kindly tell our viewers about the uh, free structure of the uh, undergraduate or post graduate programs right now we are charging just uh, 27500 uh, for the whole program at undergraduate level and 29800 program for the post graduate le- level programs for two years Uh, while for those programs who are for fast stream or one year program like business management and early childhood we are charging uh, for only 14852 dollar again canadian for the whole program so we are charging only these amounts and uh, we are giving all these facilities uh, free of cost including uh, uh, in this fees and for fee structure uh, for the first year you have to pay full fees so if a student wants to come to our institution at undergraduate level uh, the fees for the business management or early childhood education normal stream is 27500 and they have to pay for the first year that is half of it which is round about to be 14000 dollar canadian 14 to 15000 dollar canadian and if they want to go for the post graduate normal stream that is project management and multimedia the fees for the whole program is 29800 and for the first year uh, the program fees is round about to be 15000 dollar and in the th- uh, third semester they will f- pay the fees by semester wise so in the third and fourth semester they will pay the fees uh, each semester not in the whole year so this is how the fee structure we are right now offering to our international students so initially student have to pay the one year fee deposit yeah they initially have to pay for the first year tuition fees and then uh, in the third and fourth semester they'll pay the fees semester wise and uh, uh, what are the documentation requirement uh, document check uh, documentation checklist for apply for the uh, m college we are not taking so much documents uh, to apply in our institution you just have to provide us an application form and refund form which is already we, which our agent hr consultants you have to uh, send us the that application form along with your educational documents uh from where we can assess you and if you have done ielts or any other english language we send us those documents plus work experience document so we are just taking these three or four documents uh, uh to you know uh, offer you pre admission letter we are not uh, taking any further documents for that right now so you don't need any uh, recommendations letter or sop the statement of purpose no we are not taking right now that's perfect uh व्यूअर्स आप जैसे आपने उस्मान साहब ने आपको बताया कि अप्लाई करने के लिए सिर्फ आपको अपने एजुकेशन डॉक्यूमेंट्स अगर आपका स्टडी के बाद कोई गैप है तो आपने कोई वर्क एक्सपीरियंस लिया है तो वो साथ में आपको अटैच करना है पासपोर्ट कॉपी आइल्स अगर आप दे चुके हैं तो वो आप साथ में अटैच कर सकते हैं अदरवाइज आफ्टर गेटिंग ऑफर लेटर कंडीशन ऑफर लेटर आप उसको प्रोवाइड करके एंड कंडीशन करके आगे फर्दर शुरू कर सकते हैं एडमिशन की तरफ और आपको वन ईयर का फी डिपोजिट बाद में जाके पे करना है Uh, 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 Usman, sir, kindly tell our viewers about the application process. Uh, how it proceed uh, 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 towards visa? This, uh, in this process, uh, first of all, uh, you will send us the application along with the educational and uh, pre-admission letter requirements. Uh, after assessing those uh, documents, we will issue pre-admission letter in which everything is mentioned. If there are certain documents which are still left. from the student will write it down over there otherwise we will issue you the pre admission letter in that uh, you will notice the program name fees and the institution detail after that you will uh, pay the the tuition fees of the program through wireless uh, transit uh, transfer and then uh, to give us the proof that you have submitted the fees or any other documents which are still pending on your side uh by providing these uh, documents and uh, proof of uh, fee transfer we will issue you uh, loa that is letter of acceptance which you will need to apply for caq and other visa po- documents so this is the normal process to apply or go through that's perfect uh, uh, ms abiruchi uh, kindly uh, tell us because there is a little bit confusion in the international students right now uh, during this pandemic so, uh, so how uh, the future programs will be offered uh, if uh, it will be online or it will be on campus so uh, do you have any updates regarding that that m college will going to uh, offer these programs on campus in uh, denver intake uh right now like we had a very successful um, may intake uh wherein more than 80% of the students who had applied for the program joined us online on the online program 
uh, we're offering four uh, weeks of free online classes for the students who have already received their visas. Um, they can see if they like it, they can continue with the online program, or they can go ahead and you know wait for the next semester of the travel restrictions to get over before they can join that. Uh, having said that, you know, it is very important to know that uh, the government is actually allowing 50% uh, of the program to be conducted online or to be attended online by the students without hampering or affecting their postgraduate work permit, which is to the advantage of the students, because in the current situation, when there are travel restrictions and students um, cannot travel or should not travel, uh, this is something which can be availed by the students. Now, uh, the, the softwares that we are using for our online system are highly, uh, they're hybrid uh, softwares. Uh, we're using blended learning models. There's a lot of peer learning which is involved. And the pedagogy that we are using is completely uh, hybrid in its nature. So it, we're trying to put in the maximum efforts for the students to ensure that you know they are enjoying the in online sessions completely. Uh, if you ask me when are this going to get over, uh, nobody, nobody would have that answer. We're also eagerly waiting for this to get over. We are eagerly waiting for students to come to our campus and see our campus hustling, bustling again. Uh, thank you so much. Uh... I would like to inform our viewers. Just like you know that the Canadian High Commission has updated uh, provided here, which means that it is possible that in the future, very quickly, on-campus studies are available and you can travel. Even that they have provided here that in phase one, you can do your finances and your tuition and your visa with your visa file. And then you can submit your medical and biometrics after that. And even you can avail your online classes. And those cases that you have done online, you can do online classes from the first time. Or you can do it on a priority basis. Or you can do it on a priority basis. Or you can do it on a priority basis. Or you can do it on a priority basis. Or you can do it on a priority basis. Because the online portal is open. हो चुके हैं इवन के आप आपका डेरीज भी आपका ओपन हो चुका है जो आपको फैसिलिटेशन आपको प्रोवाइड कर रहा है बायोमेट्रिक्स और बाकी चीजों की सो थिंग्स आर गोइंग गुड और इंशाल्लाह हम लोग होपफुल करते हैं कि आगे जाके ये चीजें बेटर हो जाएंगी और यूनिवर्सिटीज भी ओपन हैं इवन के अच्छी बात ये है one month ki aapko pehle online class offer kar raha hai agar ye pandemic ya phir lockdown ki situation ya phir border restrictions rehti hain to waise to inshallah hopeful yehi hain ki october ya november ya december ke andar aapki border restrictions khatam ho chuki hongi lekin hamai paas wak time nahi hooga so we have to apply in M college we have to generate the offer letter we have to apply visa case hume apne visa cases jo submit karne hongi wo october ya november ke andar aapko place karne hongi taake aapke paas jo hai Priority basis के ऊपर आपको access किया जाए, so applications open हैं, आप applications हमारी website के through भी हमें कर सकते हैं contact, और आप चाहें तो हमें WhatsApp भी कर सकते हैं अपने documents initial assessment के लिए, मेरा number है zero three four six four seven four seven zero three one, या फिर आप hrpakistan.com के ऊपर जाके भी अपने query को place कर सकते हैं, ठीक है, thank you so much Miss Abidushi and Mr Osman. Uh, for taking time or uh, time for us and give us brief information uh, about M College. Uh, there we were, uh, we are going to end this session now. Uh, uh, Mr. Osman, uh, would you like to give us final words? Definitely, I would definitely like to say that uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Saad, and thank you, HR, for conducting such a wonderful session. Uh, we are very happy. We are very happy to be a part of uh, this is uh, this session and everything, uh, and we are very uh, hopeful and we are very welcoming, uh, looking forward to welcome over international students from Pakistan, as I am also from Pakistan. So we are, I'm very hopeful and welcoming uh, to, uh, looking forward to welcome international students from Pakistan over here and uh, take them around to, you know, see the campus and La Salle and overall facilities over here. Uh, uh, and Ms. Abidushi, uh, would you like to give us a final comment? Uh, thank you, Saad, for conducting the whole session. It was really, uh, it was really very well planned. Um, and of course, like, you know, the efforts that you're putting in to promote M College in Pakistan is amazing. Uh, we do look forward to having a lot of students from the country. Uh, sure. And being here from the continent, uh, you know, I feel, I feel really immense pleasure in welcoming all the students from our 
our areas to to Canada and taking them taking care good care of them in M College. Thank you so much. Uh, 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 we are signing off now. Please like and follow every page for latest updates regarding overseas education. Take care of your uh, of yourself and your family, and still keep social dis distancing and wear masks because this pan pandemic is not over yet. Uh, thank you so much, all. Uh, Hafiz. Thank you so much. Thank you. Take care.